So this is my passion planner. I am getting ready to plan out my week. I haven't done so in the last week or so. I thought just before I get started, I have a quiet house and I'm really excited to grab my stuff and just kind of plan out my week, make it pretty and spend some time with me. <laughs> so I thought I would share with you what I am using for my personal planner. I am going to be doing a series on planning that I will hopefully be able to just lay out exactly how I process my days and my homeschool and all of the other things I have going on. But for now, I just thought I could show you my planner. So I am using the Passion Planner and I absolutely love it. First of all, I love what they're about. I love their mission and everything. I just love what their business is about um so i'm gonna leave links to their youtube channel and their instagram and all that jazz but i just wanted to show you what i got i got this um i don't know what size this is this is the largest size that they have and this is in the rose gold so i'm hoping this is not a special edition if so i need to go ahead and stock up on them because i can't see myself using anything else um, I am the type of person that likes to be as creative as possible, but I need a very basic layout. I absolutely adore the binding on this planner. It is so journal-like and just completely beautiful. Um, the rose gold color is not really showing up right now because of my overhead lighting probably, but it is actually a slightly deeper rosy golden color and not quite pink like it's looking right now it has this elastic that keeps it closed which i really enjoy i'm gonna try to insert pictures of what it looked like uh before i kind of got started when i first got it i planned on doing a you know completely new flip through of the planner but just didn't get around to it so keep in mind it, it did not look like this well, the first few pages that I'm going to show you, it did not look like this when I got it. And hopefully I can attach some photos of what the first few pages did look like. But you just have the front cover page um, with the logo and a place for me to put my name. I absolutely love how they have done this. Um, they put the cover design, who it's by, and the um, website for the person who designed the cover, which... I think it's amazing and then they also hand write um, they write in what copy yours is out of how many was printed they have this lime green what is this called you guys ribbon that's in here the only thing I wish they had was two I do wish they had two ribbons this is the undated planner because I don't plan on anything that is dated um, I need something undated because I will go a week or so without actually planning and I need to not waste space so this is the undated planner and then like I said this is the front page um, the very first page they have just a bunch of information about their story which I think is really beneficial to read through and to really um, go over their vision behind planning and dreaming and vision and all that stuff you know it was right up my alley so anyway I really enjoy how they laid it out because I feel like we need a guide a lot of times and if you don't need a guide then you can kind of skip this part but like I said this is not gonna quite look the same this is my front page this is the page where they have you lay out basically your vision or map out your plan um, I love this and it took me a couple of days to finish it or get it all together. Um, I really just spent a lot of time thinking about what I want and um, the vision for my family and the steps that I needed to take to get there and this is what I came up with. But I just kind of followed the steps which were perfect because they were the exact same steps that I had just read about in a book that I was reading, The Richest Man Who Ever Lived. Um, I loved it. I inhaled that book and it just so happens that a lot of what was laid out about goal setting and vision mapping and things are the exact same steps that are listed in this passion planner. I really enjoy how it has a nice basic setup and then I can just kind of do what I want with it. 
Um, I can go into more detail about it throughout, you know, in other videos, but I just kind of sh wanted to show you what I made of it. I like to use paint and basically just creative. It's my creative journal. Um, it's a log of what I am accomplishing, what my goals are, and what I did. Something for me to be able to look back on. So I try to include photos. And I try to include as much journal space as possible along with all of my goals. The next page is actually full of my confessions. I'm supposed to be going over this. These are my dreams and goals. And I'm supposed to be going over this every single morning. I haven't been lately, <laughs> which is totally why I feel a little bit off because I am not completely clear when I start my days. It, the day always goes so much better when I start off with going over my goals. One person that I follow is Terry Savelle Foy. She has a YouTube channel as well, but she has an amazing ministry on um, goal setting with God, basically is what it's about. And I love her so much, she has <laughs> the sweetest little voice. She sounds like Minnie Mouse, and I love it. I love it because it grabs people's attention. It just makes her unique and special and it's just like God to put her in the place that she is, a place where she can, you know, speak about dreaming with God. So anyway, I'll link her YouTube channel below. But basically she goes over how important it is to uh, have your dreams and your goals before you every morning when you start your day. So I'm trying to do better at disciplining myself to go over this and speak this over my day and over my life every morning so that I'm clear on what my purpose is and what the goals are. And I just printed this out on paper and used washi tape to attach it there so that that's the next thing that I visit when I open up my planner. The next page is just for the yearly layout. And this is a monthly spread. So let me show you what a blank monthly spread looks like actually. This is a blank monthly spread. I, I got the one where it was a Sunday start because I just feel like Sunday is the first day of the week. Um, but you can also select a Monday start um, up here there's this month's focus, uh, people to see, which I love. I love because relationships are important and I learn that more and more every year. Places to go, the not to do list, personal projects. And then over here is a section for a creative mind map, which is completely up my alley. And it's for this month's game changer, which they explain what a game changer is and you can read more about that on their website. But basically this is the monthly layout and I like how clean it is. So this was the first month that I started on. It was the month of May and at the top I just put this month's focus for my personal life was quality time with God and the focus for work was discipline. Then I list my people to see and places to go, things not to do. I used paint. This is a sticker from Illustrated Faith, which I'm going to show you a few of my planner goodies in a moment. My journal on the sides, and then I write in all of my things that I have to do and use washi tape and doodle and things like that. So this was my, this was my very first month after getting my planner. The next section I'll show you is um, going to be a blank one. I have things written on mine, but I don't really want to <laughs> show that right now because it's a reflection page. Um, I'm pretty transparent, but I have no idea what's on there right now, so I'm just going <laughs> to go to this blank page. But they have a monthly reflection page at the end of each month, of course. What was the most memorable part of this past month and describe it. Uh, what were the three biggest lessons you've learned, which I love that. I love that so much. And then down here, review your planner for the past month. Assess your priorities. Are you happy with how you spent your time? If not, what steps can you take um, this month to adjust them? How are you different between this past month and the month before it? I think this stuff is really important. It's kind of like walking yourself through um, 
being your own coach because a lot of times we need that. And this was my month of June. Um, again, I just went in and wrote down any of the things I had going on, any events I had going on, any photo shoots I had going on. Um, it was our 12th anniversary was in June. So again, I just used, I took a little bit of time to make it pretty. So these are actually my fingerprints. <laughs> Um, I, did, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the page that day, but it was the end of the day. I was exhausted, but I just needed something creative to put my hands to. I just stuck my fingers in some of the paint and started putting them all over the page. So that turned out really pretty, I thought. And it, I just used my sticker from Illustrated Faith that says Made by Grace. So I love this. All of the monthly layouts are stacked together, and then you move into the weekly layouts. So this is a blank page of the weekly layout and I really enjoy it. It's nice and simple. Like I said, it's a Sunday start. It's undated so I'll include my date there and then today's focus and then it goes from 6 a.m. all the way to 10.30 p.m. the week of and this week's focus and then good things that happened and then here they always have a quote. I found them really nice and right on time so I enjoy this little detail. Then you have your personal to-do list like I said I showed before and your work to-do list um, and then over here your space of infinite possibility which I'll show you um, some of the things that are possible here. So that is a blank page and now let me show you some of the ones that I've completed so far. This was my very first weekly spread um, and I really enjoyed this so much. So what I basically do is I plan out my days. I, I have blocks of my schedule that I use on my iCal. It basically lays out what I really have going on. What I do in my passion planner is I write out what I actually did, which has been everything to me. It's made all the difference in the way that I plan. So this is not actually my um, plan of what we did specifically for homeschool, unless it applies based on what I want to journal um, for that day. And I hope that made sense. But basically, I normally start on Sunday with a little bit of paint. Um, I use any spaces that, you know, we just did regular things like wash dishes, nothing super important but necessary. I use those spaces to journal in. Um, I really love this page because it shows me exactly what was going on for me. Um, like, I did want to remember that for lessons we... Uh, we're reading Charlotte's Web, that I did work hours here. I think it's really important for me to write down what I actually did because a lot of times when things are not going exactly the way that I planned, I have a tendency to feel like I haven't done anything. And that's not true. And sometimes I feel really guilty about certain things that I really enjoy. So down here I doodled um, that evening. Of course, I always have things that I need to get done, but that evening I spent time watching TV, cuddled up with my husband, I was watching The Crown. I absolutely loved that show. But um, I chose to doodle things like that because they are relaxing times for me and I don't want to feel bad about it. So just taking this extra step to kind of journal, plan slash journal what I actually did and the things that I was learning. Um, and I can visually see maybe how I need to use my time better or how I did just fine using my time. I really like this way of planning and I'm so glad that I found this planner because I really enjoy it. <laughs> so I list the things I have to do personally, the work to-do list. Now this is not my whole to-do list. My whole to-do list looks insane, but um, the important things go here. And I'll show you that whole process maybe in a different video. I tend to journal things that I listened to, things that um, I read that morning, and I am really loving these, um, I think they're called ephemera cards, but basically these are from Illustrated Face, and uh, many of these on the backs of them have a scripture that's attached to it, which was meant so much to me this particular week. Um, so I just kind of journaled what that meant to me. 
and how just that little bit of my day was just kind of completely blessed by such a small little cute thing um, that was made by someone else who God gave vision and direction to and she is working through her dreams so if you don't already follow um, Shauna Noel from Illustrated Faith you totally should because she's amazing what I really like to do again is insert pictures and this is just something I grab a photo from my phone and I move it over to um, a document and print it out and then I paste it in here and I really like adding that in. I was actually trying to get work done and Savannah kept coming over to me wanting to be a part of it so we took a picture. This next week was a big week for us. Sunday was our anniversary which was also Savannah's first dance recital. Um, we had a soccer games and I had a lot of editing to do and a photo shoot so um, I also I had a lot of stuff that was kind of priority that I needed to get done that week and as you can see it wasn't a lot of hour by hour thing but a lot more journaling so when things get a little busier I'm not including my hour by hour things but I do try to make sure that I get some kind of journaling done and some photos in the mix. This next week was a kind of memorable week for me. Um, I had a lot going on and I felt really disconnected from everyone, um, which I didn't love. But it just so happened that in that week, I grew a lot on my YouTube channel. I had quite a few people reach out to me and let me know what an awesome job according to them I was doing and it made me feel really really loved so that's immediately what I remember when I look at this page again I used pieces from my illustrated faith packs um, love each other as I have loved you it just made me remember how important relationships are and taking the time to encourage someone else is this was just a really good slash emotional week for me but anyway just little things like my week did not go as planned but um we had something happen in the bathroom and we ended up having to go spend the night at my um, in love's house so i called it a road trip we made blueberry pancakes in the morning i had a lot of filming going on and again i was watching the crown <laughs> My to-do list was kind of insane. Another thing that I really like, this is another one of the inserts. It extends the time. I had a lot of late nights this week. So um, even though I didn't include exactly what I did, I like that I can see that I did it. <laughs> this is when things got super busy and we did summer camp. I did the same thing for each of the five weeks that I was at camp. So nothing really going on here, but like I said, I can always go back and add um, photos. And here is another example of another reason why I really like this planner. The little quotes on the side that just are always on time. Life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. <laughs> then they'll give you an action step, which is so nice um, this week. Try to find the beauty in the mundane, the sophistication in the simple, and the miraculous nature of the present moment. It's just so good. <laughs> then the rest are just more weekly layout. Um, I am definitely a brainstormer, so there are several blank pages towards the back. And then after the completely blank pages, there are several... Um, pages with the graphing print. This is actually going to be my page for our Patreon. Um, I just kind of started sketching it out and thinking about ideas on how I want to set that page up. I'd like to have um, a video and an overview of information about us and what you are to expect if you are if you become a patron. So I just went ahead and started working on that because <laughs> I get really overwhelmed um, and feel like I don't have enough time to make progress on things like this, but I just do a little bit at a time. So sketching this out 
just kind of helps me when I have another pocket of time to work on it I know exactly what I'm going to be working on next and then at the very back which I love is a seal of approval and it shows that it's hand inspected and then it's signed which is amazing they're doing such a great job over there just kind of really bringing their vision to life and just giving it that small little touch i just really felt like it was sent straight from the creator which well, not the creator like god but the creator of the business <laughs> which I really, 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 really liked. And um, it made me feel really excited about building business of my own, just knowing that I can put my own um, little seal of approval, you know, so to speak, on the things that I do too. So I really enjoyed that. Then there's a sticker, a passion planner sticker. And then there's a pocket. I don't know if I can, the material here is so beautiful. It's like a, I don't know, can I call it velvety? Anyway, I hope it's kind of showing here um, what it's like. But there's just a little pocket in the back, which is really nice for you to be able to stuff items in, like stickers and things like that. I have inserts here and little printouts that I use um, when I am planning. And then I have a bunch of their other printouts here. This is an exercise log. This is a food diary type log. Um, this one is a meal planning. Yeah, this one's a meal planning log. So I love that they have all of these other options and you just print them out and cut along. There's a dotted line along the left margin and then you can use like washi tape and just kind of add it into the sections that you need them, which I think was a brilliant idea. <laughs> I love it. So now I'm just going to show you some of the things that I got and stickers that I got to kind of throw in my little planning basket. I can just imagine making my way through this planner and it being nice and thick with wrinkled pages that are full of paint and journaling. I just, it makes me really excited. Now I'm just going to show you some of the things that I picked up and some of the things that I've been using with my planner. So these were gifted to me by Shauna Noel of Illustrated Faith, which it was for blessing. Um, if you follow my vlog channel, then you probably saw when I received it and how, I don't know, it was just a challenging week when I got this little package of hers and it blessed my heart so, so, so much. So I was super grateful to Shauna um, for just loving on me so well. And yeah, and of course I love the goodies. This is a part of the All People, All Nations collection and it's so pretty. I mean, really all of her stuff is pretty, but um, this one is so pretty. This is a sticker set. They're script stickers. They're the clear stickers, which I love because they're really nice just to go on top of the paint that I add to the page. And this is part of the Fruit of the Spirit collection, of course, are the shapes that go along with that collection. Just have the best sayings on them. Not sayings, but scriptures and um, messages from the word that are really just so sweet to add to my pages. So this is a pack of the basic stickers. I use a lot of these in my Bible journaling um, as well as in my planning. I've used quite a bit of these already, but these are the basics, um, the brushed words. They have the clear background, which is great to go on top of the paint again. Um, and I've used quite a bit of these already. I am loving this one and I'm going to be using that one very soon. This is one of the monthly devotional kits. This one was actually perfect for me because it is about relationships. So all of the bits and pieces inside of this kit are perfect for me. And I'm excited to kind of dive into them and add them to my pages because I'm really trying to focus on that. Um, right now in my life focus on relationship building. It's actually really hard um, Especially being a homeschool mom. It's been quite a challenge for me. I'm a pretty um, introverted person um, And I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know. That's probably another video anyway, but I'm trying to work on it you guys so <laughs> I'm excited to get into these pieces and just kind of add them to my pages as well. Pretty much everything else I got was from Hobby Lobby. There was a, I think a 30 or 40% off sale on certain sets of stickers. So I picked up as much as I could really. <laughs> There's a bunch of family stickers on it, which are so pretty. I love this one at the bottom. It says the best things in life are the people we love. Travel themed, destination, sightseeing, explore, travel, enjoy, vacation, let's go discover paradise, getaway journey. You know this is all up my alley, you guys. <laughs> I thought these were so pretty, these cactus 
or cacti how do you say it you guys this next set here i thought was so pretty feathers are just really pretty to me so um and the colors were so pretty to me <laughs> you guys this one was just super fun these llamas <laughs> are so cute of course i would pick up everything travel related just the globes and the keys and the stamps oh, i'm so obsessed this sticker down here and who also noticed that i have one half of my nails painted and the other half definitely not <laughs> um but how pretty are these and the last one that i picked up of course exploring and travel related these are so cute i love the colors so much i love globes they are my absolute favorite i would love to have a house full of them so i'm working on it yeah so that is basically all for this video i just thought i would share what i have been enjoying my planner i'm totally in love please remember to like comment and subscribe if you have any questions just let me know and I will see you in our next video. Bye.